So, let's get right down to it, right? Uh, today I'm gonna hit you with basically a roll call of all the hoods in Saw Home. Understand before I do this, though, I want everybody to understand that I don't do, I'm not doing any of these videos uh, to promote gangs, gang violence. Uh, they're not intended to glorify the lifestyle. You feel me? Um, and in order to uh, avoid incriminating anybody, I'm not doing any videos unless it's documented information. You feel me? Um, so let's jump right into this, right? I'm gonna jump into the old audios because people are asking or wondering if Song Ho was influenced by Southern California, California, Southern California gangs, and where some of the origins originated from. You feel me? Um, so let's jump into these old audios like uh, Sasi Puedes, right? Sasi Puedes is, is an old audio. Um, I know some old, old trip, triple OGs from that hood, the Mejias and whatnot, right? Um, I think that that Bato, um, uh, the activist Cesar Chavez's house is in that audio right there, right? Then you got Pachuco Town, you got Verdugo Flats, Happy Homes, uh, all Southern California uh, influenced, right? You got Barrio Buenas. Barrio Buena Suerte, which was started up by the Machacas from the east side, which is a straight song home, right? Then you got Barrio Norte Homies that started up on the north side, right? That's straight, that's a straight Norteño Barrio, right? Then you got uh, Barrio Rio Seco on the east side. I'm not sure if that came from Southern Cali. You got Colonia Maravilla, which was also um, those, those Latin lords, and then later on became Cal Park Locals. Cal Park Locals have been going by that Barrio name uh, for like 30 years. Um, and then you got... Um, uh, El Palmas, which is an old ass barrio too, right? Keep in mind, I was locked up with bottles that had Palmas on them, but they were from SoCal, right? Um, and then you got a Barrio Metal Fair, which started in the 70s, and that's definitely a homegrown song of barrio, right? Then you got Barrio Libre, which is on the west side, west side mob, is basically Barrio Libre, right? Then you got Lomas, which was over there on the by downtown north side, um, where Roosevelt Park Locals is at today. That's where Lomas used to be back in the in the 70s, 80s, right? And then you got, um, then you got Bicky's Town, which is on the south side. Um, and, and obviously that's a, a straight um, a Southern California barrio, right? And you have West Side Ganga, which is off of San Carlos. Uh, that was also a song of barrio, right? Um, so as you can tell, you know, half of the hoods I named were from Southern California or the origins came from Southern California. Um, you got Body of Horseshoe, which a lot of people are saying uh, was a, originally a Southern California gang that evolved into a Norteño gang once the, um, the term Norteño was adopted uh, by Northern California Barrios. You feel me? Um, uh, some say that on the east side was the first part of Songho that adopted the term Norteño as far as the Barrios, then they spread it out to Songho, right? Um, so that's uh, that's all the OG neighborhoods from back in the days. Like I said, there's more. I just I just left a couple of them. You feel me? Just so you can get an idea. You feel me? Um, so overall, basically, uh, yes, Southern California had an influence on Song Ho, uh, on, on on gangs and on choloism. You feel me? Straight up. So let me jump into the whole shit with with the homies. Uh, the roll call for the East Side, right? I'm a, I'm a run right through these motherfuckers, though, right? So you got Palmas, right? Which is, they have a big ass area. It's from like the 101, Tully, um, uh, uh, Story, all the way up to basically the Capitol and all that inside there. They got Hank Locus Park, Welch Park. Um, the center of that body was on, on King Ocala. You feel me? Uh, but Palmas is a big ass neighborhood. There's a lot of contributions to, to the big homies and everything, right? Um, so uh, yeah, that body, like I said, that's Palmas. And you got Lockridge, which is more down on King. Uh, by McKee, King and McKee right there off of Lockridge, right? Then you got 33rd, which is um, over off of, by Andor it runs from Andarty all the way down to San Antonio, right? Which is 33rd. I'm not sure if they're an offshoot of Palm Isles or not, right? Um, then you got, um, you got Warlocks, which is, I think, NWS and some bottles that, uh, uh, they used to be from Lockridge or some shit like that. They hooked up and started Warlocks, right? Then you got VNG by the Monte Grande, which is up there on the top of a white road. Uh, going towards like Penitentiary Creek um, and Key, all of it, all the way up to um, to, to Toyon, right? Then you got then you got um, Barrio East Side, which is over there off of uh, a White Road between Allen Rock and Barrio East Hills. Barrio Mont's neighborhood is um, from White Road 
uh, between McKee and Allen Brock all the way up to Kirk. Then you got Valle Melo Fair, which is way on the other side of the east side over there by East Ridge Mall and Rigoletto, all that area. That's Valle Melo Fair. Then you got KO, which is Keenan O'Connor, which is a new neighborhood that's in um, Farmer's neighborhood, right? Um, then you got Eastside Familia, which is also a body that was old, died out, came back. And I think they're like in the pocket somewhere over there by Farmer's neighborhood, right? Then you got uh, Triple L's, which is more down uh, Los Land Locos, right? Uh, and they're over there by uh, Silver Creek in the capital and Silver Creek in the back over there, right? Uh, Triple LS, right? Then you got CPG, which is in the war zone over there off of McLaughlin, right? Chicano Park Gangsters. Then you got Barrio True Norteños, which is off of Westboro. You feel me right there all on the back right there on Westboro and, and White going into Capitol, right? Then uh, then you got Capitol Park Local, which is also in the war zone right there. You know, they got Pokeway on one side, they got SPV, they got uh, uh, Virginia Teresa, and then they got KVT on the other side too. You feel me? Then you got M Street, which really ain't around no more, but you still got homies from that barrio that live there that still bang M Street. You feel me? Then you got Brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really sure where their body was at, but you got Brotherhood on the east side too, right? Then you got Eastside Hoods, which is an old ass barrio. Eastside Hoods is actually uh, the barrio that started up or helped start up BSJ. So, really, Eastside Hood and BSJ, BSJ is like an offshoot of Eastside Hoods. Vatos that used to be from NSP uh, got with Vatos from Eastside Hoods and came up with the name BSJ. That's how BSJ was formed, right? Um, and like I said, you got Bayou Mas Locos, I mentioned where they're at. Then you got Barrio Rio Seco, which is more down white right there from um, like Candler to Story from White up to, uh, what is it, um, um, Clayton, up to Clayton, all that little area right there, right? That's all basically uh, BRS, right? Then you got VTM, Barrio Tierra Nuestra, I don't really know nothing about that hood, hood. Then you got Barrio Montalban, which is on, on McLaughlin. Uh, there was an indictment and a whole little shit that happened with them. They had an indictment, they got an abatement, injunction, or whatnot, and then, I, you know, they, a lot of them got kicked out of that neighborhood, and I'm not sure if the Southsiders took over that area, but Valle Monteban uh, was a solid, strong-ass neighborhood, you feel me? Then you got Valle Monterraza, which is over down by the Pink Elephant. Then you got Valle Catorce Locos, which is also over there off of McKee and White. I mean, uh, McKee and Capitol, no, uh, McKee and King, right? Uh, Valle Catorce Locos. Then you have VNC, Valle Norte Catorce, which is like a YA gang that came out here. I'm not sure where their body was at, so I know they got almost from the north and from the east. Then you got Bayou East Hills, which is on East Hills and White. Then you got NWS, which I was talking about earlier. I think them and Zapatos from Lockridge, that's how they formed. Um, that's called Northern Warriors, so that was, I think that's how they came out with the name um, Warlocks, you feel me? Um, then you got Eastbound Local, Marcellus, which is off of Florence, so it's like from East Hills to Story, on White, from all the way up, basically, to Fleming. Right? Um, then you got TSU, which I don't know where their barrios at, you feel me? You got CBG, Copa the Gangsters, which is on the other side of, of um, between Folkway and Capitol Park, basically, right? On the other side of Jackson, right? Um, then you got then you got Jackson Kings, which is on Jackson and King, right? Then you got 95, right, which is over there in the MP Hood. MP Hood, back in the days, is the only um, area where there was Bloods at, which were called MP Hood Bloods, right? Then you had NGN, Next Generation Northanios. I'm not sure where their barrio's at. Then you got Barrio Libre, Mobstedos, which is also a Westside Mob offshoot, just like Eastbound Local. Mobstedos is a Westside Mob offshoot. Barrio Libre Mob is, their location and where they're at is in the same area with Eastbound. It's the homies from the east side too, though, right? Um, so that's the east side. There's more barrios like Sanders Block, homies at Bank Golf Drive. I said that um, I'm just trying to give you a general idea of some of the hoods on the east side that are there and homies that still bang it and, and some of these hoods don't actually have, they're not, they're not turf orientated neighborhoods. They're just a bunch of autos that get together to claim a barrio. So now you just go to the south side, right? On the south side, you got Barrio Aztec Montaño, which is over there on Santa Teresa. You got uh, UNLV, uh, Localville, which is over there off of the trade winds, off of uh, Blossom Hill and Snow. And then you got Barrio Monte Pride, which is in the Seven Trees area, old neighborhood that still homes from that barrio. You feel me? That's in the Seven Trees area. Seven Trees got a lot of barrios in that neighborhood, right? Seven Trees is like, they probably got like six, seven neighborhoods in that whole area over there, right? Then you got Norte Por Vida. I remember Filetto when he started that shit up, right? Um, on the south side, again, you have Vicky's Town. I remember in 1994, uh, Peter, it's like, tried to start up Vicky's Town again, but, it, you know, it, it, it never flourished, right? Then you got Four G's, uh, over there, that's Seven Trees neighborhood. You got the Hogs, which used to be by your Hoffman. Uh, Hoffman is over there by Pioneer which is a, a known school for Sudanios, and they basically took over that area. Uh, Hoffman kind of died out, and then when they came back, it came back over on Snow Drive, 
right? Uh, as hogs, right? Um, which was always hopping hogs, but now they just didn't use hopping no more, just hogs, right? And um, so then you, then you got MFG motherfucking gangsters, which I consider the oldest neighborhood on the South Side. It's not the oldest neighborhood, but it's the only neighborhood on the South Side that's still there from way back in the days, right? Then you got CMK, I was with the homie Glock from CMK, right? Uh, Criminal Minded Kings or some shit, right? Then you got Bayou Libre Mob, Southside Seven Trees, right? Then you got Foes, right? I think Foes is from like, I think they got homies from all sides of the town. I think their Bayou's on the south side, right? Then you got Plata del Rey. Plata del Rey is more down by Oak Ridge. Plata del Rey's always been an area heavily influenced by uh, Norteños, you feel me? Then you got Bayou Felspar, you know what I mean? Uh, Felspar Locals, which is on Tolly and Center, right there in the back, right there behind the fairgrounds. Um, then you got Trailer Park, which was all the way down Monterey by Ford, right? Then you got Southside Gangsters. I'm not sure where the neighborhood was at. Then you got by the North and Locals. I had the homie Robert Sunoco, rest in peace. Uh, he was playing a fucking Russian roulette at Gunnison High School back in the days and, and shot himself. You feel me? Um, good homie. Uh, then you got SMN, uh, Sick Minded North Daniels. Then you got um, uh, Round Table Boys, Round Table Gangsters. Uh, the Southside has other neighborhoods too. Like I said, there's a, other neighborhoods that popped up over there that uh, I'm not familiar with. You feel me? And um, I, I heard some other names and I seen some writing on the walls and shit like that, but I'm not even sure they're really neighborhood, so I didn't really want to even mention them, you feel me? So now let's jump to the West Side roll call, right? On the West Side, you got Vida Libre, which is West Side Marcelo Gang, right? Vida Alma Locos, Eastbound Local Mob, Seven Trees Mob, all, all that shit. You got a Salida uh, Mob Gang, you have homies out of San Mateo, you have homies, um, uh, the mob, is, it's like in five or six different cities. Uh, anyhow, um, you got a Vida Libre, you got Vida Horseshoe, like I said, Vida Horseshoe's been there, for a long ass time on the west side. You have River Street Boys, which used to be uh, where the Sharks Arena is at today. That used to be River Street Boys back in the days. They all came to the west side. Uh, this good homies came out of there. Uh, their neighborhood used to get flooded every single year, but like I said, they, they knocked that whole shit down, so that's not there no more, right? Um, then you got a Ravens Court, which is way over there off of Bascom, over there almost by um, uh, by Bascom and um, and Stokes, so then, but on the other side, you feel me? Um, on the, basically right off of the 880 um, on the other side of Mary Jane Park, right? Uh, you have Ravens Court. Then you got Barrio San Carlos, which was around when we, when Tia Salinas was still on San Carlos, right? Then you got West High Ganga, which is one of the old barrios from right there in that area. Then you got Barrio Gran Tierra that started up in San Carlos area, died out, and then popped back up on Keys, right? Then you got Barrio Alma Locos, which is a West High Mob, um, basically offshoot too, right? Then you got MTN, uh, uh, Midtown North Daniels, which is over down by almost by San Carlos area, they didn't last though, right? Then you got Wick wearing control. I used to live around the corner from the homie who started that up, uh, the homie Louis Snoopy. Uh, he had a brother named Smokey Mario from the Horseshoe. Um, that was a uh, wearing control, right? Then you had Vatos from the Guardians, the Deep West. A lot of those Vatos would come to San Carlos or the Alma area and they'd be jumped in the hood. I know some of those Vatos from the Guardians got jumped into Wick, the Winchester neighborhood, right? Um, so uh, that, that's some of the hoods. There's other little neighborhoods like the Adila Boys, and, other neighborhoods that were on the west side, you have west side boys, you have west side locals, you have other little neighborhoods, but uh, you got uh, um, homies from SJBP, so on Brown Pride, that, that bang west side, you have Brown Pride homeboys, I mean, yeah, other little neighborhoods, but they just, they, they, they didn't last no more than a couple years, you know what I mean, so let's jump to the north side, right, north side roll call, you got JSP, Julian Street Posse, which is on Julian, and uh, like 6th Street, 8th Street, all that area, then you got B&H by the Norte Homies, which is an old ass barrio. Their barrio is all out the Kessel Park area. That whole little shit's off B&H. Then you got Northside Posse, I want to tell you that that shit broke up in 89. And a lot of those bottles that ended up being VSJ later on. Then you got by the Northside. By the Northside was around for a good minute. They were deep as fuck. When they started breaking up, a lot of the heads from B&S ended up going to 12th Street. Uh, by the 12th Street to Old Hood, too, been around, Savages. They had, they were the, they were influencers uh, like like uh, like the straight, like the East Side Strangers were. Uh, like um, uh, uh, East Side Hoods, you know what I'm saying? They, they had heavy, heavy influence too, all the homies from Dulce, right? And then you have downtown North Daniels, and then uh, uh, down, they, obviously they were downtown. Then you got um, Roosevelt Park Locals, you feel me? That that barrio, from what I heard, I heard that barrio started up from some bottles from Barrio Mas Locals, right? And then you got Balls, which is deep, deep, deep in the marshlands over there by the bay, deep north side, which is Barrio Aviso Locals, right? Which is North San Jose. And then you got the homies from Barrio Libre, Mob Northside. You know what I mean? Um, you have barrios that have homies from all sides of Sanjo, like SJG, Sanjo Grande, 
Bagu Songho, Songho Grand Pride, Bagu Libre Mob, outside of the West Side, they got East Siders, North Siders, and South Siders, and Bagu Libre Mob. Uh, you got BNC, which has A-Way from all sides of town. You got um, uh, JBF, um, um, Just Banging 14. It used to be Just Busting Funk when it was, you know, back in the 90s, but it's straight North Daniel Gang now. And then you got a uh, uh, body of Mas Chingon, I think that has homies from all sides. Uh, B12 has homies from all sides. And uh, and Barrio San Juanero, BSJN, has homies from all sides. You know what I'm saying? We also have barrios that were just all highness, like LVLs. You know what I'm saying? They were from the east side. Uh, I think it was La Vida Loca or some shit like that, right? And then you had um, NSN, which was a North Star Norteñas. They were from the south side. Um, a lot of the barrios had highness, like you had the VNR Rucas. You had uh, the Horseshoe Hainas. You had the Westside Mosteras, you know what I mean? Uh, all the hoods had like little branches of hyenas and shit. You feel me? Little cholas that, that, that banged the hood and whatnot, right? Back in the days, you feel me? They were underneath no bases, but, but they were running the hood. They were jumping cats in. We had a homegirl named Temper from my barrio. They used to jump in the bottles and shit. So, every single neighborhood that I mentioned, like I said, there's still homies in Songho that bang those barrios. You feel me? And like I said, a lot of these hoods are not turf orientated, meaning that they don't actually got a barrio that's theirs, like they don't got a hood that they bang, that they claim, that they, you know, motherfuckers live there. Now, another thing that the influence that we have had, that you can tell that we've had the Southern California influence, is because we have Crips and we have Bloods here. We're the only ones in the whole Bay Area that's ever had Crips or Bloods. All the rest of the Bay Area has been either, you know, like either, you know, more into the Black Gorilla family, 415, Kumi, that's all the Bay, like Black Power, because that's the Panthers and whatnot, right? Songho is the only city in the whole Bay Area that never even claimed the Bay, really. It wasn't until Mac Dre, kind of, that everybody started, you know, being proud of being from the Bay Area. Before that, we all from, like, we were separate, you feel me? And that's because we were the one, only city that was really, at the end of the day, we were the only city that was influenced by Southern California, you feel me? Rather, it was by the Crips and Bloods or by the Southsiders that came up here and started, you know, the whole... Uh, fashion statement, you feel me? Um, and I'm not gonna say, uh, you know, Pachucos, they say that we took that from the Africanos, then they try to say the Africanos took the Cholo style, you know, hey, we we all came, or we all come from the same motherfucking places. So we're gonna entwine with a bunch of styles and a bunch of shit all the time. You know, if you compare the barrios right now, these vatos are not influenced by the Chicano Cholo style no more. Montaño, a lot of them are influenced by the hip hop culture now. They're not, they're not, it's different. So I didn't mention your body, right? Slap that shit on the motherfucking uh, comments. If I didn't mention any hoods, if you know other hoods that I didn't mention, rather they were around before, they're around now, they started up yesterday, whatever the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, next time I'll acknowledge it. I also, don't, 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 I noticed that on my subscribers, uh, uh, and, and unsubscribers that a lot of people have been watching my videos and they're not subscribed. You feel me? Uh, show them motherfucking love. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing and, and hit the subscribe button. You feel me? Also, follow a motherfucker on Instagram at Gangsta Gucci. With that said, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and check out.